welcome to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here today because today's video is gonna be a public service announcement for anyone interested in Amazon FBA. And that message I'm gonna be giving to you guys is called profit margin. So profit margins are single-handedly the most important aspect of Amazon FBA. You know, you have to figure out your profit margins before you actually decide on a product, before you decide on making any initial step. I'm talking even before ordering samples because um, there becomes a point where if you start selling a product and you're not seeing any margins in it, there's literally absolutely no point in selling that product. I mean, it just doesn't make sense financially, right? So what I will tell everyone in this video is to look at three things. Cost per unit shipped, Amazon FBA fees, and the last one being pay-per-click fees. Now, the first one you can easily get an answer for by talking to your supplier and asking them, hey, listen, how much is this product actually gonna cost me shipped per unit to my house? Because it's easy to look at Alibaba's website and see, oh, wow, they're only $1.50 per unit. That's so cheap. I'm gonna be selling it for $25. Well. Not really, I mean, when you include the shipping and maybe 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 you realize you need to pack two or three uh, products per, like make a bundle kind of thing um, in order to sell good numbers, you know, everything is gonna eat up your profit margin. Now the second thing we're gonna be talking about is Amazon FBA fees themselves, right? So just because you found a profitable product, you know, you're buying it for four or five dollars, you're selling it for 20, 25 bucks, um, that does not include Amazon FBA fees. And sometimes Amazon FBA fees can be as high as 10 or $11 or as low as three or $4, right? So it all really depends on what you pick. And you know, typically the more expensive the product, the higher the Amazon FBA fees are gonna be. So you definitely, definitely wanna watch out for that. Now I will link uh, in the description box below a, uh, a calculator you can use to sort of give you an idea of how much your Amazon FBA fees are gonna be, but you know, of course, this is never gonna be 100% accurate. So I really, really highly suggest to watch out for Amazon FBA fees. They, they can really creep up and uh, take a lot of your profit margins uh, right out the window. Now, in regards to Amazon pay-per-click advertising, the best thing I can recommend to you guys so you guys can get a real good idea of how much pay-per-click is gonna cost you when you actually launch your product is to go make a paused campaign. Now, what, what is that exactly? So pretend that you have your product, it's in stock, you have 500 units waiting to sell, and you're about to run pay-per-click. Make a full, full-blown pay-per-click advertisement for your uh, actual Amazon FBA product, but pause the campaign. Don't make it go live, right? If you make it go live, that's bad news, right? So don't make it go live. Keep it paused, but go into the keywords um, and, and start adding keywords. Start plugging away, just like as if you were actually gonna sell this product. And what you'll realize is Amazon will be giving you bid estimates for each keyword. Like it'll be telling you, hey, this word is worth this much, this word is worth that much. And then what you can do is you can, you know, figure out the cost of your product, right? What are you gonna be selling it for? M minus the Amazon FBA fees, minus the actual product cost themselves, and then assume a 30% advertising cost of sale. Now, what is an advertising cost of sale? It's basically assuming that for every 30% of your product's selling price is how much pay-per-click is gonna cost you. So let me give you an example. If let's say you are selling your product for $15, assuming a 30% advertising cost of sale would be telling yourself that you're gonna spend no more than $5 per advertising sale, right? So you spend $5, you get a sale for 15 bucks. Now, what is the goal of this profit margin? What are you actually trying to achieve with it? At a minimum, eight to $10, okay? Eight on the low side, 10 to be absolutely perfect with the product. Um, $10 is what you wanna be making minimum on each product. Now, well, you might say, well, hey, Amar, I just did this calculation that came out to $6 per unit I'm making. Now, I, honestly, I would not sell that product. If I was only making $6 per unit, I would not sell that product. And the reason why is, why put in all this work for little to no money? There's no point in working for that. It's no different. If you were selling your product for a dollar per unit profit margins, you might as well just be working your nine to five job because you're not gonna be making any more money. The best thing about selling a product for an eight to $10 profit margin is actually what happens a month or two after you start selling it. Eventually, with good pay-per-click, you're gonna start ranking maybe close to the front page. 
maybe top of the second page. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna trickle in organic sales, right? Organic sales meaning that you are not getting these sales via pay-per-click. People are literally scrolling through a list of their products and they see your product and they choose to buy your product. And when you have this happening more often than not, your profit margin will go from eight to $10 to maybe 12 or $13 per unit because now you're not spending as much pay-per-click to convert sales. And when you're spending less on pay-per-click, that is ideal because of course you're gonna have more profit margins left over. Now, this was sort of a public service announcement for anyone looking into Amazon FBA. Believe me guys, I love everything Amazon FBA, but there is a lot of things you have to consider when you're searching for a product. You cannot just go on revenue alone. You can't just go on feel alone, you know, stuff like that. You have to actually calculate all the profit margins so that you can figure out exactly uh, how much money you're gonna be making on every unit sold. So with that said, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm sorry for not uploading a video for the last week and a half, two weeks. I've been very, very busy. I'm sort of in the process of a move. I gotta, I gotta get my car shipped out, gotta get my girlfriend's car shipped out to another state, all this stuff. And we're just sort of waiting on the application to see if it went through or not on the second house. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate uh, every single subscriber comment that I get. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.